So at what point does the relationship with you and Soldier Boy kind of start to sour? 2010. 2010. Um, this is, I, I'll just, because I made, a, I made a video in the past talking and, but now I'll just clarify it a little bit more. As I done got older, I see that. So it was like Lil Wayne tour, Most Wanted tour. Lil Wayne was my favorite rapper. Uh, something happened on the tour. We had a, a misunderstanding on something. And then I left the tour. And when I left at that moment, I decided to want to start my own label or, or just my own path and started Boss Money. On, that was it. I, I, I decided I don't want to be SOD no more, but I did want to remain being friends with Soldier. But then as time and time went by, you know, we, we became so busy. It's just, you know, I, he st we still friends, but it, it, it can get complicated at times. Uh, but the thing that, that bothers me most is, you know, like I, I can't keep up with the, with the shit that he's doing. He can't keep up with the shit that I'm doing. Like the enemies I make, the enemies he make, the friends he make, you know, that, that's bothersome to me because I'm in the, my whole life over here doing something else. He doing that. And people see me in the street, what's up, uh, S.O.D.? Like they don't even know the full story yet. So I, that's, that's one of the reasons I came out here too. I want to tell you what happened and let the people know to, you know, understand that I'm, I'm a solo entity now. Okay, I mean, when you say there was a misunderstanding and you left the tour, like what exactly happened? Because to be that, honest, you, go, uh, you guys are rocking tough up until this point. Your it hap it happened off of school. fun, man. It happened off of some fun. We had BB guns. Uh, you know, they had BB guns, Young Money and them. I shot a BB gun in the hotel room and it, and it ricocheted off the wall, hit a, hit a, uh, a, a spray can and the spray like sprayed the whole walls and stuff. It, it messed up the whole room. So, you know, his, his people was mad at, at that, like that we messed up or whatever. And, you know, I feel like we can get over it or we could pay to get that room right. You know what I'm saying? It, it didn't have to get as bad as it did, but it did. And that was like a life changing decision for me. Okay, so what, maybe a few, a few thousand dollars worth of damage happened in the room? Right. But, you know, Soldier Boy making a bunch of money. I mean, and you're, you're making money right along with him. You know, not, not quite as much as him, but you, you, you making money also. I mean, could you have just said, okay, cool, it was my fault. I'm just going to pay for this room and we're just going to keep trucking? That's how I wanted it. I thought it was, but that's what I said. This was some kind of other misunderstanding, maybe. I don't know. It just got to the point where he, he told me he didn't want to have me on, on that tour no more. And I, I took that because that was like one of my favorite tours to be on. So I was like, it, it, it will never be in no other person's power ever again. So I became me. Okay. I mean, had you had like arguments and stuff leading up to that? Because that seems kind of minor. You know, that seemed like that happened, but there was uh, some other okay. shit leading up. <laughs> it was the right time. It was the right time. Business. Uh, I had to, I started getting more ambitious, wanted to start making more, wanted to start doing more. Uh, and that's, that's, where it, that's where I grew into. Okay, so you leave SODMG? Yes. Officially, you're like, okay, I'm done with SODMG. Were you ever signed to Soldier Boy or was it just more of a homie thing? Homie thing. Okay, so there was and, nothing to even, even with, out afterwards. Even a, no with a lot of the other SOD artists, they, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's not like a thing that I was like, I'm done with, you know, it was, it was time spent. It was, it was like family too, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's not that easy. Right. I mean, like, were you hurt just on a, on an emotional level? Like, like this is your friend, like fuck, fuck the business shit. Like this is your actual friend for all these years. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. So you leave. Do you guys continue to communicate at all, or is it done? Well, 2010 is when I decided to leave, and as the years, um, and then, like I said, uh, I, but I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to make it seem like I have something against them. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm proud of the history we made, 
it's like it's dope. It's when it, when it's time to move on though, or when it's time to when a new day is here. That's it. That's basically what it is. But the, the people, it, it's hard for them to like Soldier Boy and A Rap when they see me. Just like what I said in other, you know what I'm saying? But that's just how it is. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to. He probably doing the same thing. He probably go to shows and people ask about me all the time. I don't know what to do. He don't know what to do. Like, what can we do? <laughs> so since 2010, you guys haven't spoken at all. No, no, we have, we have, we we spoken like two years ago. Okay, and what was that like? I don't know. I I, I don't know. We spoken. It, it just. It, it didn't make the situation better. Yeah. Well, what about that talk made it worse? Because, I mean, the way you're describing it, nothing really major happened. It ain't like you owe him a bunch of money or you fucked his girl or well, whatever all right. else. Well, like, I, I, was, I, was mad. I was mad at the business, man. We've been, we, we, <sighs> shit, man. We, 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 we went to high school together. We did all this stuff together. And I, I was upset and I was disappointed at how the business was ran between us. And that's basically what it was about. I, had, I, I was fed up with that. Okay, so when you say the business, are you saying that you worked on that first album and didn't really get compensated for that first album? Something like that, yeah. 